cross product concepts given vector a equals to 0 to 1 vector b equals to 1 minus 1 3 calculate a cross b b cross a and a dot a cross b explain the results so i will use the matrix way of calculating a cross b so when we say a cross b then we can write this as a matrix i j k and i'll write vector a first which is 0 to 1 we are doing a cross b and then vector b which is 1 minus 1 3 and this is equals to i times i j k are unit vectors so i'll write them like i is the unit vector along x axis times 2 times 3 which is 6 minus minus 1 times 1 which is minus 1 so it becomes plus 1 minus j times 3 times 0 is 0 minus 1 plus k 0 times minus 1 is 0 minus 2 times 1 which is 2 so a cross b is equals to we can write this as 7i minus n minus becomes plus j minus 2k so this is vector a cross b Now, what is B cross A? Let's see that. B cross A is equals to I, J, K. So, we write I, J, K. And then B vector is 1 minus 1, 3. And then we have 0, 2, 1. So, this is equals to I times minus 1, minus 6, minus vector j 1 minus 0 plus vector k 2 minus 0 so that gives us minus 7i and this is minus j and here we get plus 2k right now as you can see here a cross b is 7i plus j minus 2k and b cross a is actually negative of a cross b right so what we observe here is that a cross b is actually equals to minus of b cross a right so in vectors they are not commutative in fact when you do a cross product of two vectors then you get a third vector which is normal to the plane in which the two vectors are in the direction of the third vector is given by the right hand rule all right so in case we have vectors let us say a and b on this piece of paper then let's say this is a and this is vector b for us then the right hand rule will be if you turn your fingers from a to b the thumb points towards the direction right so it'd be vector coming out of the paper so that is a vector a cross b but if you do b cross a this vector will be going inside the paper right so the direction will be right opposite to a cross b and that's that's what we see here right that's what we see so that is one part of it second what we can show here is that is the vector is normal to this plane then the dot product of that with a or b should be zero right so that is another test we can now do so that is why i have this a dot a cross b so let's try to see what is a dot a cross b so we already have a cross b as 7i plus j minus 2k. Let's do a dot a cross b. 
so we have a dot a cross b equals to so vector a is 0 to 1 and dot a cross b is 7 1 minus 2 right so when you do this dot product what do you get 7 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is plus 2 and dot product of 1 and minus 2 is minus 2 which is 0 since the dot product of a with a cross b is 0 it shows that a cross b is perpendicular to a similarly if you do dot product of b with b cross a or even a cross b doesn't really matter even then if you do b dot a cross b that is vector b is 1 minus 1 and 3 dot of 7 1 minus 2 so what do we get 1 times 7 is 7 then minus 1 minus 1 and 3 minus 2 is minus 6 which is also 0 so we see that a dot and b dot the cross product of a and b both are 0 that means the cross product vector is normal to both of them right so that is what cross product is all about so when you have cross product then you get a vector which is normal to the plane of both the vectors and the direction is given by the right hand rule this is very important to understand and second part is that a cross b is actually equals to minus of b cross a the two vectors are opposite to one another so with this let's see more examples and explore cross products thank you